Hello viewers, welcome to my channel ITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish. And in today's uh, video, I brought a challenge from Shashi Bhushan Tiwari. I've chosen this uh, uh, problem because some of my students were facing a lot of difficulty in this one. So I've also tried to uh, make a 3D model of the problem so that I can illustrate what's exactly going on. Okay. So without much ado, let me straight away get into the problem. So here's the problem statement. Uh, what's the problem? Sun rays pass through a pinhole P in the roof of a hut and produce an elliptical spot on the floor. See, I've not shown the roof, but you can imagine there will be some roof and there's a hole through which sun, sun rays are entering. So how will the sun rays enter? You know that there will be a cone of rays which will be entering through the spin hole and again form a cone and there will be spot at the bottom, right? So they are passing through the spin hole P and they are producing the elliptical spot on the floor. The minor and major axis of the spot are 6 cm and 12 cm respectively. So here there is an elliptical spot formed and minor axis is how much? 6 cm and so you know that the, in ellipse this is this thing is called minor axis and this thing is called major axis. So this is um, conventionally represented by 2B which is the this minor axis and this is represented by 2A. So 2B and 2A are given to be 6 cm and 12 cm respectively. The angle subtended by the diameter of the sun at our eye is 0 0.5 degree. So this angle is very very small this is 0 0.5 degree. So the rays are not literally parallel but almost parallel. Okay, but 0.5 degree is a very small angle, almost like 0 degree. Okay, So for some purposes, we may assume it to be parallel and for some other purposes, we might not assume it to be parallel. So what we have to do, our task is to calculate the height of the roof. Okay, So if you want, you can give it a try. Uh, I'll get into my explanation. First of all, I'll be showing you the 3D model of the thing and then I'll uh, go into the maths of it. Okay, So now uh, let me go, go into the 3D model of the thing. So I have pre prepared a small model in Blender. So let me just explain to you uh, what's going on here. So see uh, here I have a sun and sunlight I have uh, shown it through a cone. So there will be a cone uh, through which sunlight is entering uh, and this is suppose this place is supposed to be the pinhole. Okay. So uh, yeah, this pinhole and the sunlight is coming in a cone like this and it's falling here and I want to show you specifically that and this is uh, the just the shadow I have just shown here so let me just uh, turn the model a little bit so the shadow size I have shown through a hole okay and you can easily see that whatever is the diameter of the cone over here whatever is the diameter of the cone here that diameter of the cone at this point will form the minor axis right whereas the major axis that will depend on the angle of the cone right so I hope that is clear. The, the, that's very important to understand. The diameter of the cone, local diameter of the cone is the minor axis. But the major axis will depend. Suppose this I in, incline this cone even more. Then major axis will keep on becoming uh, greater and greater. Suppose the altitude of sun keeps on falling down. Then the shadows, uh, I mean uh, this, the, uh, this uh, luminous area will become longer and longer depending on the altitude of the cone. Whereas this width is only dependent on the local diameter of the cone. So if that part is clear, uh, then we can proceed. So just to emphasize once again, uh, the diameter of the uh, cone, local diameter of the cone is same as the minor axis and major axis is something else. Okay. So if that is clear, now I can go back to the mathematics of the problem. Okay. So let me again go back to the my PDF. Okay. So here's the diagram. Again, uh, I've drawn the schematic figure. So sunlight is there and this angle theta is given as 0 0.5 degree. And here we have the uh, elliptical spot 2A. And see the local diameter of the cone is dB. And uh, this is completely right circular cone until here. And after that, you have assumed that we have cut the cone with a plane. So therefore, this is the conic section, which is ellipse. Okay. And this is dB and this is delta beta, delta beta and dB are same. Why? Because both are the diameters of the cone, local diameters of the cone and this shadow area is of course greater than dB but this uh, this shadow a delta beta is same as these two blue lines okay and this is 2B okay. So one thing I can readily see is that angle PCB that is angle suppose I call it angle phi. So PCB and PBQ both angles are approximately 5 
you might say okay this is phi this is theta so this must be phi plus theta but then theta is 0 0.5 degree and 0 0.5 degree is very very small so i can as well say that this is also phi and this is also approximately phi okay so that's equation number one now another thing i can say is db is equal to delta beta is equal to 2b so db is also the diameter of the cone delta beta is also the local diameter of the cone if i consider cone only till here as a right circular cone so delta beta and db are same and then delta beta uh, this delta beta and this uh, turquoise line they are the same I, I mean this turquoise line is nothing but shadow of this delta beta line okay and so this is also 2b uh, because this spacing is very very small okay okay so this is also 2b and this can also be written as what see this is h so this is what this is h cosec phi and this is h cosec phi and you put a pencil over here and you put an arc like this so db is equal to this arc length which can be written as h cosec phi into theta so r into this theta right so that's your db which is also delta beta which is also 2b now uh, if i look at triangle dcb so this is the triangle dcb okay what is cosec phi see this angle is phi and uh, this is your uh, perpendicular of phi and this is the base of phi and this db is same as 2b right db delta beta and this is all the three are same so cosec phi is nothing but cb upon db and cb is what cb is 2a and db is uh, db is same as delta beta is same as this minor axis is 2b so i hope the equation 3 is clear to all of you so now that equation 3 is clear so now it's very simple what you need to do is just eliminate cosec phi from these two equations so from this equation I can write 2b as h into theta into cosec phi is 2a by 2b. So h into theta into cosec phi is 2a by 2b. And you just rearrange this equation, you get the value of h in terms of b, a and theta. So this is what you get for uh, h, right? So 2b square upon a theta. And now I can just simply put the values of a, b and theta. So theta is 0 0.5 degree. So you can as well put it as into pi by 180 degree to convert it to radians. Now a, so 2a is given as 12 centimeter. Okay, so a is uh, 6 centimeter. So that's what I've written a is 6 and 2b was given as 6 centimeter. So b is 3 centimeter. So that's what I've written now, now just need to plug and we'll have the final answer. So if you plug in all these values, the final uh, uh, answer comes out to be uh, uh, this is 344 centimeter. Let me correct this. Uh, this is approximately 344. This should be centimeter or you can say 3.44 meter 344 meter will be a very huge height for a room i mean uh, order of kilometers so uh, final answer is 344 centimeters so that's my analysis for this problem i uh, hope you like this problem and my analysis and if you enjoyed the analysis uh, please hit the like button and uh, please uh, share this video as much as possible through whatsapp telegram discord or uh, whatever medium you use for networking with your fellow students who are preparing for IITJ or uh, Olympiads and uh, uh, most importantly if you've not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel because that is what keeps me motivated for doing a new video every day and uh, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one and as always God bless you all thank you so much